All right, we're off like a herd of turtles. Yeah, yeah, this is a good morning. It looks like the sun's going to come out. We had a few uh, snowflakes last night. So, geez, this is the first week. First week I've been up here. And uh, you know what day this is? Nope. Saturday. And uh, on Saturday, it's, it's a day when you change your underwear and brush your teeth for the first time. <laughs> well, I am so, so glad of that. Man, I'm glad Saturday rolled around. I didn't know it was Saturday. I'll have to go back to camp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, you can, you can do it when you get back. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's also going to be the last day of coyote trapping for us. Uh, we might keep a couple traps here close to camp or something like that but real trapping starts tomorrow the full season starts tomorrow so we don't want to takes a couple hours to run our coyote line in the morning we don't have a couple hours setting out traps how yeah. many days will it take us to set all Jeez. those traps uh, if we do few. it in four i'd be something happy yeah, yeah yeah so i got a trap right here i'm gonna leave this one it's already sprung this is where that fox was caught right here so i'll leave that for now but the rest of them we're gonna pick up all the coyote traps hopefully we caught something last night because pretty much last chance yeah yeah ground is gonna be uh well 25 degrees this morning so yeah you know went from in the 50s or high 50s yesterday to 25 last night yeah tell yeah. the folks what uh, so, uh why we got these blinkers with us in between our seats oh these uh these doggone smoke poles yeah right here we, we got those because it's opening day of deer season. Yeah. And we just, just might luckily see a nice buck running around yeah, somewhere. You never know what you're going to see on the trap line, so we figured we'd bring our, our rifles just in case. Yeah. But stay yeah. tuned, guys. It's going to be an exciting day one way or another. All right. Sun's just about up. We're pulling traps today pulling our footholds. Footholds you have to check once every 24 hours. So it's gonna, it'll change our trapping day every day if I get these things out of the ground. I hate to give up on coyote because they're starting to really, really get me fired up. But Donnie and I are pulling traps. Look at that, look at that. Is that not the pretty, prettiest thing in the world right there, Donnie? Tell you what, look at that. Isn't that not beautiful? Oh, yeah. Great. Jeez. And I think I am going to keep these from being contaminated. I'll keep the gloves going. Yeah. Just in case we want to set up on some coyote later on in the season. Yeah. Makes sense. But these earth anchors have been pretty decent. Look at that mud. That thing. Look at that. We got so much rain. Wow. Oh boy. That one's in there. Yeah, this might be staying. Last one came out pretty good. Last one was easy, yeah. Go a little lower. Holy. Yeah, that ain't coming. Huh. So, here's another option. There's a weak link there somewhere. There was a quick, quick connect. Did I go past the quick connect? Oh no, here it is. This trap wouldn't have worked tomorrow anyway. Being oh. underwater like that with that rain right. we got yesterday. Oh, yeah. Froze in. Yep. Was it like a swivel disconnect there? Uh, like a quick link. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I gotta get a wrench. Huh. Alright. Well, those anchors really hold. Yeah. I'm trying to hook the truck up.
We got a piece of chain. Probably needs to come up straight, right? Yeah, I don't know how I will that hold? Probably that not, might. but it might. We'll give it a try. Yeah. What's your guess? Alright. Yeah, can you hook that in for me once I Yeah. I gotta back up a little bit more. Yeah. Good. Yeah. We got a. Wow. Yeah. Slick. Wow. That was tough. slick. That was a tough pull. Wow. Yeah. Oh, did it get it? Yeah. Was it? Yeah, it did. That's pretty amazing how much power that thing's got. Boy, that got some. That little power. tiny bullet. Yeah. That's amazing. It's right. Yeah. Well, hopefully they don't all come out like that. All right. Can well, we get everything? We got. You got the trap. Yeah. Super. Beautiful. All right. Well, he's pretty heavy. We got a nice one here, folks. We got uh halfway down the line. Haven't really been doing too well lately, coyote trapping, but we'll take it. It's a beautiful male right there. Nice full full size. He's Heavy. 30, 30, 35 probably pounds. Yeah. Uh, real good catch on him. Got him right here on a little side road by a gravel pit area. Uh, yeah. Great. Yeah, Super. we'll take it. Dog going right. Yeah, this is bittersweet because we're pulling traps. And I love coyote trapping. I just love the challenge of it. And it kind of sucks to sucks to end it. But we got some serious Martin and Fisher trapping to do tomorrow. So you said coming up the road you saw some scat there in yeah. the road. Yeah. Uh, so yesterday there was scat at the bottom of this road. Right. Yeah. Today there was scat halfway up. So I said, well, maybe we got him. And sure as, sure as heck, we come around the corner and he was bouncing. Yep. So we got another one. Want to try the? Yeah, cable? let's try it. Yeah, I'll just go easy. Here you go. Don't worry about it. Ready? Ready. Good. Got a. Well, yeah. These uh, these earth anchors are strong. That changes everything, Donnie, when you get a catch. Yeah. Yeah, it gets you all excited again. We'll be running the rest of this line at 50 miles. An hour. Oh man. What do you think of how pretty it is? This is just gorgeous. It's a window wonderland with that heavy frost. Holy mackerel, the sun hitting it. Just gorgeous. Well, we saw one moose today, yeah. but we didn't have the frost where that was. No. It's funny, different sections we've been driving through. We had snow when we left camp. Yeah. Then we drove out of everything. Yeah. You know, no snow, hardly any frost. And now we're in an area where we've got really heavy frost. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous. Be some cool seeing a moose in this. Or oh, better yet, a deer, I guess. You got your Model 99 ready to roll. Oh, she's ready. I ought to have a couple bullets in my hand. I don't. At least in the chamber. Yeah, oh yeah, that'd be the, even better. I gotta say, just running the trap line every day is just incredible to, to see because you never know what you're going to see whether it be the weather the animals the animals you catch the wild animals and the terrain and mother nature is just awesome getting yeah. up every day and 
getting out an hour before sunrise and watching the sunrise and see what color it is every day. Yeah. It's... I mean, the picture of the sun coming up this morning with those clouds is just gorgeous. I got a picture of Donnie that I think could be blown up and framed. I'll show you guys that in the video. But yeah, we're, uh, we got a few more traps left to pull and it's, like I said, it's bittersweet. I, I'll give you guys a recap on coyote season after after today but eh, I feel like I left a, a few out there but when it's time it's time you got to make the change we're already three days late into trapping season already we lost three days of trapping season for some reason it didn't start on November 1st like it always does they're starting it on November 3rd this year so yeah. you tell me which which is odd yeah I mean uh, Never heard of such a thing. No, and our trapping license, we didn't get a discount for those two or three days on our trapping license, did you? No, I, no. I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't notice any change. Of course, yeah. I got a lifetime license. Well, yeah, but still. So I got a lifetime. So you so want to get a rebate. Know. You want to get a rebate. Yeah, I ought to get a couple bucks back. Yeah, they ought yeah. to, I'll, I'll put in for it for you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Senior citizens discount. That's right. Yeah, look at that, how pretty that is Jeez. with the stone. That is you so know. friggin' pretty. She's, uh, she's pretty packed. We got a little bit of room for some extra stuff for tomorrow. I think that made 47 boxes in there, which is more than I was expecting. Might be able to get a couple more if I jockey it around a little. Yeah, that's good enough, that's good enough. 47 would be a huge day anyway. So, sweet. That leaves us with a little bit over. 61 more I didn't get any Fisher boxes loaded up uh, Maybe I have room for a Fisher box all right, it's uh Getting a little late in the afternoon. We've been at it pretty hard. I think we got about 16 sets in right now uh, Love every single set we've made every single one of them. We think we're gonna catch something in it overall so far great day great day first day getting back in setting steel for Martin and Fisher and even Weasel. Yeah, yeah, we've uh, put a few steps on today. Yeah. Uh, weather's cooperating, it's a beautiful day. Uh, a little on the nippy side, but sun's out. 
seen a lot of new territory I'd never seen before. Uh, a lot of clear cuts we've come across, but a lot of them have been replanted. But the territory we're trapping in is uh, is in the green growth mainly, and uh, and look at that friggin' wow, clear cut. Look at that clear cut. Jeez, look at that. Wow, acres and acres and acres. We, um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's our rookie year back at it. You know, we haven't. I haven't trapped since 2006 or five, I think. So we're learning the territory. We're covering some new ground. Definitely using uh, onyx to to find new areas, find find new ground. But you still got to go check. Like we got ourselves hung up into some deep, deep woods, into some mud because the roads didn't go through like like they say on onyx. So. They don't always go through. You gotta get eyes on them, you gotta check for yourself. And it's just like anything in life, you gotta go figure it out for yourself. So we've been doing that most of the day. The sets we're making, we're, we're really excited about for what they are. We've had a couple really tough tough ones, you know, where we think we're gonna catch a fisher. Um, had a couple, right, two or three back to back in a row that about wore both of us out. But we'll get there, we'll get in better shape, and we'll, we'll get a, uh, We'll get after them and show you guys some, some sets as we make them from here on out. All right, we're going to set one up. Grab me axe. Bag for Donnie. And so let's throw 120 in here, Donnie. Is that? What do you think, a 120? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's a 120 box. This is a special box. Is it? I had to add an inch to this to get it legal. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know how you run so far ahead of me. Oh. Pretty quick in the wood. Don't worry about me. Oh. I don't think we have to get very far in here. Looks pretty good. We don't really have to get much further, I'm just looking for a good spot. Why not right in this little grove? On the ground? Well, I guess it'll have to be. Okay. Try it. I mean, we've got this uh, log here, but it's not very big. Yeah, let's put it down here. We could make a leaning, leaning one out of this. If you want to. I'll just throw this one in. All right. Let's throw it right in. Probably like right here. Oh, this is the old Victor 120. He's got the little tiny eyes that don't go over. Oh, He's got the little tiny eyes that don't go over the thing very well.
I'm just making a scarf to put some scent on, which is a mixture of skunk and petroleum jelly. Great smelling stuff. So why I don't you? Yeah. That's it. That's a set. It's just like that. That's it. You want to put a little fur call on that? Uh, if you want to, feel free. Well, we've been doing it on all of them, so I might as well. Got to get some pine needles down our backs. That's sitting pretty good. Yeah, it's it felt pretty rugged. I don't know how you can run through the woods like this. <laughs> I guess maybe at one time I was able to. Yeah, you did. Well, we're working on the second day of setting out traps, our box trap for Martin and Fisher. Joey's gassing up the truck, getting ready to go. It's like, uh, what the heck time is it? Well, it's about 5.45. Things are frosty this morning, but it's not snowing, it's not raining, it's not uh, doing anything, so that's that's good. Make it a little more comfortable setting up stuff. So we'll be heading out of camp here and very shortly. get through this or not doesn't look good we got to get up that road we got a long way to go around I don't know how deep yeah. this is all right is that a beaver sitting there no no Over. holy you don't want to look at another too high road there. into that how deep you think it is I don't know Holy jeez. Look at the house there on the left. When you're, oh jeez, don't go too far here. We're gonna get messed up. Let me check the running board. See how, well, I'm okay on my side, but you're, you're dipping down. I think my running board's getting clean. Yeah. There's an old house here. Well, looks like it could be active. That's where the kids live? 
Maybe. Look at the size of that hut, buddy. Yeah, it's unreal. Look at that. Well, we're over the running boards over here, and it looks like it gets deeper near the hut. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't venture out. We're gonna have to go around the long way. Geez, that was a would have been a nice loop too. Yep. Huh. Well, that's the way it goes. Sometimes. Well, that's trapping. Out of trapping. At least we know where there's beaver to be yeah, trapped. That's true. Get them juices going. Some of that good sand out. Well, as they say in the south, bless her heart. Well, sometimes you just got to do it with a pistol. Oh, wow. Nice. That's a nice the, big bird. Right in the neck. That's a nice, oh, beautiful. We're not picking any pellets tonight, buddy. Oh, that's great. Super. Just relaxing from a hard morning of setting traps. You know, it's a beautiful day out. I don't know why the heck I'm in here sitting on the couch, but I am. How's that fur doing? It's all right. It's okay? Yeah. Take a little edge off. This insulation? Yeah. Yeah, I put, I put it right to it. <laughs> Martin and Fisher trap it's on a leaning pole up off the ground so it'll be protected by snow. It's in a box. That's uh that's what we gotta use in Maine. We gotta use Lynx exclusion boxes. But I got a brook down here below me. I'm halfway on a ridge. I got a hardwood ridge up above me that's been cut this year. Don't be afraid of any fresh cuttings. The fish are still going to work through it. Martin are still going to work through it. Then that brook down below just adds to it, adds some life. I got a partridge in there for bait and I rub that on the log to get some smell, get them enticed. And then I have some super, super s strong scent of skunk up on that. So that's a good set right there, guys. So I'm going to put that in my GPS and move on and make some more sets. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful Martin Woods. Anytime you see that green moss carpet underneath and you don't get a lot of light up through the top and thick spruce and firs and you hear the squirrels, that's uh, that's really good Martin Wood. So, got a little pole, a leaning pole. Oh, really slight degree there. Uh, what that does is it's gonna keep it off the ground for, it'll keep the mice out for the most part. So the mice won't chew on a pelt. Um, it'll also keep everything working and keep the mouth of the trap open of the box, uh, even in a deep snow, because I'm up off the ground. So that's a good set right there. We got fresh moose in here. That's always a good sign too. And then he flew backwards into these friggin' pelts. <laughs> and then he's like, what the f He was like, this is the worst place ever. Yeah, this is one My friend is, he's on the, he's on the floor. He's a carpet. <laughs> Big baby. He's smart uh -oh. dog. Yeah. What is that? What is that? What is that? 
Oh. Oh. Connie's losing it. I've never seen Oda scared. <laughs> He's gonna stuff himself right up inside, Donnie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's shaking. He's shaking all over. Oh, <laughs> poor dog. What's that? What's that? He probably knows what it is. Go get it. Let's go get it. Get it. <laughs> Donnie. <laughs> Look at Donnie. He's dying. <laughs> oh, that is a riot. <laughs> some awesome company coming to town. They help polish off a heck of a meal. Oh, oh good. and they shut the lights off. You guys didn't pay the power bill? No, I don't think. All right, hold on. I'm gonna try to, I'll try the new thing. Yeah, how do you like that? Right as the sun. <laughs> It's not even lagging on. <laughs> That's crazy. It's not even lagging on the light. Wow. All right, guys. Well, I was gonna show you the new people at camp, but I'll show you this instead. Is we got an EcoFlow 4300 uh, power box hooked up to this thing. I don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. And as you can see, I just switched it over, and we got full power with uh, with no gasoline and awful quiet. So that's uh, that's the power. This is the other new stuff in camp. You guys know CJ. I'm so happy to have him here. I'm happy. And he to be brought here. up an old, old, old fishing buddy of mine, Hamilton. That man. How old were you when, when we went fishing? Oh, we were probably. We fished I, that tournament. I must have been like maybe ten. Like, I thought you were like ten, nine, ten, eleven yeah, in that range. There. I took Hamilton fishing at a tournament, a bass tournament on three mile. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep. And. Uh, that was about a hundred years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> years ago. Yeah. yeah. But they polished off a nice dinner, uh, made by Donnie, brisket and mashed taters and peas. Mm -hmm. And it was good. Donnie said he's going to make us donuts. Yeah, he did yeah, say he that. He did say that. Now it's all good. But video. I didn't say when. Yeah. <laughs> He did, that's true. It's always a loophole. I tried. I tried. And, and CJ likes the wood stove. Uh. Yep, he likes the heat of the wood stove. His dog is freaking out over this bear. Yeah. Still doesn't know what to think about this bear. Well, that was some fun. Well, that's it for today. I got uh, maybe 25 sets out today. A uh, well, little bit over half of the traps that I have are out right now. Donnie helped out in the morning. His his legs have been bothering pretty bad. You know, he's 82 years old and he's a little frustrated with he can't pick up his legs like he used to. And this country is pretty rugged, so it makes it really hard getting in the woods. So I haven't been setting as deep as I usually do um, for that reason when I'm with Donnie. And, and then I've been dropping him off and he's been working on trimming out windows in camp. And then I go back out and, and get a bunch of sets out there. So this evening, this afternoon, I, I got a pile of Fisher sets in that I feel really good about for Fisher. A uh, handful of Martin sets too. Of course, you never really know what you're gonna get till you get there, but got a pretty good gut feeling for it. But going really hard at it before daylight till after dark in the afternoon, and then doing some editing in the evening or some visiting when people 
are up. I got CJ and Hamilton up tonight. They got the dogs and and uh, we'll be doing some visiting tonight. And then tomorrow I gotta get some more sets out. I gotta run a different line tomorrow. Um, the last two days, yesterday we didn't get a full day in. We had to tend to some stuff at camp with the electric. Um, good buddy came up and, and ran the electric in that power box for us yesterday. So we met up with him and it took some time out of the day. So I, I was able to get back out and get a bunch of sets in too after that i'd like to get all these sets out really as fast as i can obviously you know the state for some reason cut us three days short on trapping season anyway and then uh, i'm gonna make a check on my five day i hate to do a five day check but i really like to get these traps out as warm as the weather is if i made any catches on the first day or second day you know i could start getting some green bellies which aren't good uh, i don't think we'll have any fur slippage from it so I should be all right as far as that goes. And then I gotta do a, a the first check, which I'm really excited for. That's like Christmas morning, my friends, when you get, get to check. But I've been pushing hard, because a lot of you don't know this, but one year I probably had one of the best trap lines, maybe, maybe in the world, maybe in the United States, definitely in Maine, in a long time in Maine. And when you, when a person runs like at the top level, it's hard not to try to run at the, and beat that or run at the top level again. You know, it's uh, it's like winning championships or or gold medals or or uh, or just being the best in your field. I know I was about half my age or so when I did that. So I want it back and I want it back bad. And I know there's a lot of things working against me and you know, situations are different now too. Um, when I did that before, it was just a different situation. I'll just leave it at that. So I still want it and I want it bad. And that's why I'm pushing so hard. And I love it. I love, I love the, the grind. I love the, the hard work that goes into this. I love working hard. It's just so rewarding when you work hard and accomplish things that you never even dreamt of or never knew were possible. You know, and I have some numbers in my head of, of furs that I want to catch this year. And, you know, I'll keep them to myself for now. You know, a dream all a dream is is just a really big goal that you put like a big challenge that you put upon yourself you know and, and then when you fulfill that it's like a dream come true so that's that's where i am right now and i really really want this fur trap line to be successful and i know it isn't the numbers that make it successful to me it's how i play the game you know, and how hard I go, and if I'm doing it honest and ethically and within the laws, and even though I don't agree with the laws and the new laws and, and how things have changed, it's still really important to me that I compete at the same level. So that's why I'm going so hard. I'm trying to stay awake, driving home. I got, I got a little bit of a haul to get to the cabin, and it's, it's dark out. I know the GoPro gathers some extra light, but the last couple sets I made were dark and of course I'm setting in pretty dark woods even in the middle of day of course this time of day they're just darker in the pocket but I gotta stay awake for the ride home and uh, today was a definitely a challenging day because it was wet it rained half the morning the woods were soaking wet everywhere they're still soaking wet it rained this afternoon a little bit just to make everything wet so everything you touch is wet and walking through the woods you're wet and you're sinking in mud all the, all the time but man don't i love it you know it just makes the nice days even nicer and i'm really looking forward to snow days and uh some cold days and i just love it so really appreciate all the support for the channel guys